This is Dapu7, and 3i Atlas just keeps on giving up crazy information and data. This time, we're looking at images here with almost perfect symmetry. You can see the three points coming off of this object. To me, definitely not a comet. If you missed the last one, if it's a comet, a regular comet, then why would the CIA neither deny or admit that it exists or any records exist on it? The only time they ever do that in history is when there's something massive going on. Let's not forget that they switched everything up and they said that this is now under the, the largest planetary defense drill ever in history still. And all the other anomalies that come with this thing, like it shut down the camera, Mavon's camera, when it went by Mars. And now, it has this step-like radio fade that you can see described on the left here. A normal comet, normal comet, has a smooth decline in this nature. And see, it's when you start to dive into the numbers and all the data here that you see something's not right. What's happening with 3i Atlas is it's giving off a, a sequence type of pattern. And it's stepping down in like perfect steps. And it's something you just do not see in a natural object, period. Couple this with the other frequencies and things that have been received off this thing or it, that it's giving off. And as you look at this image up here, even though it's a fake one in the background, how it has these different points that that they go in different directions in like perfect symmetry. Something's going on with this thing. To be able to kick out these perfect angles all the way around it, one, two, three, one, two, three in different shots is pretty crazy. All right? These are some of the, the newest facts that we're getting. And again, this massive step down, pretty wild. They're, de they're definitely agreeing that this is not natural. Then, then what is it? If this is not natural, then how can it be? How can it be a comet? I think we all know at this point there's something massive going on with this. As it gets further away, it seems like more, more data, data and information is dropping. This is exactly what happened with the Muamua. It wasn't until it was out of the area and it lifted up out of here picked up speed, even shifted course, and took off out of here. That they were like, oh yeah, that thing might have been something. Well, I'm not trying to wait till then. All the data is staring you in the face that this thing has something pretty wild going on, and it's scheduled to roll right up on one of Jupiter's moons. It's going to be very near it. That's interesting as well. Again, with everything it could be releasing, we know it's releasing cyanide. And if it's technological, it could be doing anything. To me, it has intelligence with it, without a doubt. They're covering it. This is just the latest. Join me for the live shows where I cover it in greater detail, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Dabu 77. Hope to see you there. Eyes to the skies.